Hey everybody, it's Chad from Six Blog. I'm Stick, and today I want to tell you about another giveaway I'm about to have. Um, what I'm going to give away uh, in this video is going to be this stove here. And uh, some of you may recognize it, some of you may not. Uh, for those of you that don't, this is the uh, ISO Clean 2.1 by Flat Cat Gear. Now, if you remember a while back, I posted about the regular ISO Clean stove, which I have here. Um, and this this stove here, um, John has basically designed this regular IsoClean stove to work with some of his systems that he already has, uh, such as this is the Snow Leopard windscreen for the Snow Leopard system. And he's got the uh, pot stand. It's The way it's uh, set up, it's exactly the right height above the stove from what it needs to be. But maybe not everybody has one of his cooking systems. So what he's done is he's made these... Uh, 2.1 versions which has a built-in windscreen on the top now before I get too far ahead I do want to say a big thanks to John from Flat Cat Gear um, he sent me uh, this stove here and this one here which is the one that I'm going to be giving away it's still bagged up comes with the stove the little desk and a set of uh, operating instructions and this is what will be sent to the winner of this giveaway but he sent that one and then he sent this one for me to uh, demo as well as keep uh, so I want to say a big thanks to John from Flat Cat here for allowing me to uh, to have this uh, this stove to do this giveaway. Um, but anyway, just a little bit about this stove. As I said, this is the uh, IsoClean 2.1. This is a copy of the instructions that comes with it. Of course, I know you can't read all that. And then on the back, they have a nice one of those little uh, like called QR codes, so that you can click to it. And I believe it'll take you to a video that's telling you about the stove. Um, the cool thing about this stove is that it runs off of rubbing alcohol, which I don't know if you can see that. 91% is what's recommended for this uh, alcohol stove, although you can use 70%. However, um, with 70%, of course, there's less alcohol content, so it'll be a uh, longer burn time because it won't burn as hot. However, I will say real quick that if you're using a smaller system, such as the, uh, um, the Snow Leopard system, one that he sells, um, he does recommend using 70% just because it's so compact and it's so tight inside. Um, it, the 91% will actually burn too hot for that small of an area. However, for these stoves, 91% is recommended. You can use the heat in the red bottle. However, he does recommend diluting it. Um, although, he also recommends using the 91% rubbing alcohol over the, um, the heat just because of all the extra additives and stuff that the heat's in. Or that is in the heat. Also, um, he does consider this a uh, fair weather, I think is what he calls it. He has a fair weather stove, uh, simply because there is water in isopropyl rubbing alcohol. And because there's water in there, once you get down to uh, temperatures you know, around freezing, that water is going to want to kind of freeze up, which will make it a little bit more difficult to actually light the stove um, once you pour that fluid in or the, the fuel in. Um, it can, as long as you find a way to keep the stove or the fuel warm, and you don't mind maybe fiddling with it, um, you could probably use it in temperatures you know, lower than freezing. Um, it just may take a little more effort on your part to uh, make sure everything is appropriate. As well, um, he says that these will work well up to 5,000 feet in elevation. Um, uh, at 9,000 feet, he said that he noticed a significant burn rate uh, drop off. So uh, the higher you get, uh, it just doesn't burn as well. Now, um, the cool thing about these stoves is that it does use rubbing alcohol. And uh, what's cool about that is rubbing alcohol is fairly cheap. Um, I paid $4 for this bottle, which may be a little overpriced. I got it at Walgreens. Um, but I paid $4 for 32 fluid ounces of rubbing alcohol. That's not bad whenever you compare it to how much I would spend on the yellow bottle heat or the SLX. It's, uh, it's a little less expensive. As well, um, your rubbing alcohol should be easier to find rather than the, uh, the heat, which is pretty easy to find anyway, or the uh, SLX, or the other denatured alcohol. Um, and then the last thing is this is going to burn cleaner than the heat or the SLX, simply because, like I mentioned earlier, uh, they do have a bunch of additives and stuff and those other fuel sources. So this source will actually be somewhat cleaner. Um, I still wouldn't sit over it and huff and puff. Now, one thing, um, a lot of alcohol stoves are made 
uh, nowadays, the, the alcohol stoves are pretty much made to burn fuels like heat or uh, SLX. Because if you put uh, rubbing alcohol in it, you'll find that it'll create a, a yellow flame and it'll be a whole bunch of soot that comes off of it. And that's just real nasty. Now John has designed these stoves to run specifically off of this rubbing alcohol. And uh, the way he's designed it is there won't be any flame, there won't be any yellow flame, there won't be any soot. Now I will say that as soon as you light it, there will be a little bit of a yellow flame. Um, and there will be a little bit of soot. But once you put your cook pot on it, it reduces the airflow coming into it. And the way he's got it designed, it's the appropriate amount of air that will come into the stove and meet the flame so that the flame actually turns blue. And I'll show you that in the video here in just a minute. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of tell you about the stove. Uh, like I said, I am going to um, put some, uh, some in here and show you how the flame will turn blue and how it won't produce soot. Uh, real quick, I do want to say that he does mention in the instructions that about the last uh, two milliliters of fuel, uh, simply because it's burning out, and uh, I would imagine because there's so much water left in it at that time, um, it will create a little bit of soot. So you'll want to time your boil so that you'll take it off and let that last couple of uh, milliliters of fluid burn out without the stove on it to keep soot from getting on your stove. So anyway, um, before I get into uh, showing you how the, the stove works, um, like I said, this is a giveaway. Now, the way I want to do it as far as the giveaway is to make things simple. Um, I'm making this video. This video will be on YouTube. However, I will be posting this on my blog, sticksblog.com. Um, now, whenever I post stuff on my blog, it automatically goes to YouTube, it automatically goes to Twitter, it automatically goes to Facebook, and maybe a couple other places. However, to keep comments in one place, in order for you to win this video, I'm suggesting you to make a comment and tell me why you would like to win this particular stove, and I need that comment to be on my Sticks blog website page. Um, so if you're on my website right now, sticksblog.com, and you're watching this video, right below this video, there will be a place where you can add comments. And that's where I need you to put your comment and tell me why you want to win this stove. Um, I just find that it's too hard to keep up with all the other different, you know, social network sites. Uh, trying to make sure I got a name from Twitter, make sure I got the names from Facebook, make sure I got the names from YouTube. Um, I appreciate all the support and everything that I get on those other uh, social networking sites. However, just to make it easier on me, uh, I am asking that everybody uh, place the comment. If you are interested in winning this though, please place the comment in the bottom uh, below this post on my blog. Um, now, um, see, I haven't even looked at a calendar. Um, I'm going to give two weeks for this contest. At the end of the contest, I'm just going to take all the, the names of people that has uh, submitted a, a post on my blog as to why you want to win this stove, and I will put those in a random generator, and I'll just let the random generator pick a number. And then whoever wins that stove, I will contact you. Uh, I'll do a posting on my blog again saying who the winner is. And uh, that person will need to uh, send me a message and tell me their shipping address so I can go ahead and get it shipped out to them. Also, this contest is open to any and everybody that can post on my blog. It doesn't matter where you live. Um, you know, the last one I had, I just kept it in the lower 48. This one is going to be open to everybody. Um, so, saying that, um, I'm going to go ahead and get an ounce of fuel and put in here. And I've got my Amusa cook pot here, and I'm going to put it on there to show you how the flames will turn blue. And uh, I'm going to call it quits. So hang on just a second. Okay, guys. I think that you can see that okay. I have one ounce of fuel. So pour that in there. And go ahead and light it. And the instructions... I read somewhere that it may take about a minute to get this thing going and warmed up. I'm not sure if that's for all the time or if that's uh, just in cold weather. But I am going to give it just a little bit. Uh, John does recommend using these with a windscreen because as anybody that's used alcohol stoves know, 
uh, windscreen is vitally important to using um, alcohol stoves. Uh, the slightest bit of wind can really affect the way that these things burn um, as well as just blow any kind of heat away. So, I don't know if you can see that. You see that? All right. Now this is the first time I've lit this stove. First time flames and fluid has been in there as far as I know. So, let's go ahead and stick that on there. And there you go. You saw how immediately it changed blue. There is still a little bit of a yellow tint to it. Folks, that right there is just awesome. Alright, folks. There you have it. The IsoClean 2.1 alcohol stove by Flat Cat Gear. Um, like I said, if you're interested in winning this stove, just leave a comment at the bottom of this post on my blog. We'll just see. So, folks, I uh, appreciate you watching, and good luck to everybody that enters the contest.